Round one, fight! So, uh, in this variation of Balance, Kenshi uh, is a little bit of a different character uh, as far as his common special goes. He's got five common specials that are themed slightly different in each variant. So, uh, we'll look at the Balance first. Right away, you can see that uh, if you're familiar with MK9, the spirit is back uh, for a lot of his specials here. So, the big uh, plus for this variation is you can do uh, uh, some really big damage from stringing together with large combos. So his first uh, special that we'll look at is the Rising Karma. So this is a really good uh, close range anti-air attack and the EX does an extra hit on, on uh, connect. It's also a great move you could actually string after a combo too. Yep. Absolutely right. Which Ray's hit you with six or seven hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> Just block guys, that's all I gotta do. <laughs> This next one is a spirit push in this variation. Uh, it's, it's really good for close to mid range. Uh, it has a pretty big hitbox and uh, you cannot duck it. And it so, tracks too, right? It, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this one doesn't track. No, this. No. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta make sure you hit on connect on this one for the. Uh, the next one up is the teleflurry. This one's a tracking move. Uh, it is duckable, however. And if you miss it, or you get or block it, it has a pretty long delay, so it is kind of uh, semi-punishable. Uh, but it is very good for an anti-air, depending on how close the opponent is. Can can we hold on for one second? That move's duckable. That's right. Why have I not been ducking that move? Well, I was wondering the same I didn't thing. Know. <laughs> All right, keep going, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> learning. Yeah. <laughs> he also has uh, the TK slice. Now uh, this one you must block high. And uh, you can control the position on this one, so you can, uh, there's three different uh, ranges, close, medium, and far, so you can you know, dictate where you put it. Uh, the EX has an extra hit on connect, and uh, knocks the opponent down. So also, like, some good zoning tools from Kenji. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. He's really good at far, and then when you get, when he gets up close, also. Yeah, exactly. And in this variant, uh, he gets uh, the blade reflect. So this uh, uh, reflects projectiles and uh, EX1 absorbs it. Which we'll have to show later. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't take somebody that can throw a projector. My bad. Throw your whip. Yeah. Reflect like that, sir. Awesome. Uh, move on to, are we ready to go to the next one? Yeah, next you want to see a throw or do you want to move? Yeah, let's do a throw. All right. All sure, right. So, so just kind of, just go crazy for a bit, right? Do some of your fun stuff. There we go. All right. There we go. I like it. It's like you've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next one is going to be the possessed variation. So in this one, um, Kenshi's sword, Sento, has been broken. And as a result, the, the, uh, the spirits that have been trapped within the sword have been released and kind of possessed Kenshi. And so he doesn't have any attacks with the sword in this variation at all. All of them, all of his ranged attacks and that sort of thing come through this, uh, these demons that kind of come out from him. And as you can see, the sword on his back is actually cracked into pieces. Yeah. So it's a very, it shows the variation as well. The visual difference. You're a scoundrel. Who says the deadbeat dad? Even for you, that was low. Round one. Fine. No clue what they said. <laughs> so the, uh, the good thing about this trade is it's all about chunk damage, right? So uh, you know it doesn't have as big uh, strings as he did in the balance trade, let's say. But uh, in this one, it's all about just big hits, big hits. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know a spin on the rising karma uh, in the previous variation is the sickle lift. So again, it's a kind of a, sh a close range move. It's a multi hit on connect. Excellent, just a little bit different, uh, but it's got its roots uh, and similarities from the variation. Let me add something in real quickly, too. You talked about how it's more chunk damage and less combo heavy. Right. I get a lot of tweets where people are like, is Mortal Kombat X a game that I can play as a casual fan? And you know, one of the things that I've kind of started learning about the variations is there are some variations that might be easier for a casual fan to get used to if they're not a combo heavy type of person. Absolutely. You can learn that one and then kind of move forward as you get better. Yeah, absolutely. The next move uh, is the Soul Push. Again, similar to the Spirit Push. Uh, this is a short to mid-range attack. It's pretty safe uh, if you're from max range. Uh, the cool thing about this move is you gain a lot of distance uh, you know, to push the guy back. Uh, the EX version, though, if you, if you choose to kind of keep a, a mid-range, that's really great for that. 
The next one up is the Demon Assault. Uh, it does more damage than the Soul Push, but it can be definitely uh, punished uh, easily when you block or miss it. Okay. Next up is the Demon Slam. Uh, this one is a little bit different uh, than the TK Slice, because this one you must block low. You can also control positioning on this one back forward or you know, closer to the far. And actually one of my favorite things about this particular move is that when you EX it in combo, like here, I get a little lift. Well, I missed, I missed it, but you do actually get you do actually get an additional chance to juggle, which is pretty cool. Hey Ray, you dropped something on stream. I did drop Join a the club. Oh, on stream. Yeah. Oh, Join boy. the club. <laughs> so the blade reflect is gone in this variant, but he has an alternate move in here, which is pretty awesome. I love this move. Is the demon beam? So this move is uh, you know a teleport, and it uh, tracks in front of the uh, the opponent. And the cool thing about it is, once you kind of teleport, you can you have control of the character to perform another attack right there. So it's great for uh, stringing combos together. Them. Yeah. Right. Uh, also, here he's got a new special in this variant. It's called the Demonic Strike. So uh, this is an overhead special uh, that's close range. Round I'll show it to you right here. Fight. And the EX uh, does uh, a knockdown instead, and it's it's got armor. He also has a, a new string in this one, uh, which is an uh, override on his uh, attack four towards. So this one reaches a little bit further, and it, uh, you, know, you must block it low. Hey, cool. does, does, does Kenshi have, does he have an x-ray? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Go! Oh, here we awesome. Go. So with this variation, he also gets additional uh, combos okay. along with the special attacks. He, just, he gets the, the new the, the new um, strings. That's right. The attack four towards. Cool. All right. So let's go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All so, right. Let's do it. Kenji looks awesome. He does. Yes. If you like them in, in those variations, just wait till you see him in this one. This one's really cool. Kenji. The Kenjutsu. So this one is the Sword Master Kenshi, missing his headband, right? So it's pretty crazy. Um, this variation, we brought some of the TK specials from MKDA, uh, as well as we have added some uh, some new ones. Uh, this variation, you know, you can punish a lot, but the range is it's a lot shorter in general than yeah. the other two variations. Gotcha. What is the secret of your powers? My secrets are my own. Share them with me. Round one, fight. So the twist on uh, the short range uh, anti-air move in this one is the rising sword. It is, you know, a, a basically kind of like a sword uppercut type of thing. Uh, the EX does a multi-hit as well. So it's a little bit of a twist that uh, the other ones, that the other variations have. Uh, the next up is the telepush. This is a, a pretty short to mid-range attack. It is fairly safe, except when you're up close. And the EX is on his armor. Uh, the Tally Toss is up next. That's a tracking move. It's his furthest move in this variation, uh, but it is very unsafe. What's really great about this move is to switch it sides uh, with your opponent, and the EX version has a multi ball and it has armor. And uh, finally, well, not finally, I should say. The, the other variant here is, or uh, move from this variant is a Tele Slam. This is a pretty, uh, a clo kind of close to mid range attack. It's very unsafe. Uh, and the really cool thing about this move is when you perform the EX version of this, because it brings the opponent down stunned, so you can go ahead and continue the combo. Alright, why don't you, uh,. He also has the blade reflect. Oh yeah, in this can, one. We, can we throw the, 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 the work against the shield? We'll find out. Oh. No, that's too many hits. I <laughs> yep. So what we did today was not show you how the blade reflect works. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to but, find that one out. But there's more. There's more. There's, there's more. more. Yes. In in this variation, he has a spinning blade, which is I love this move. Oh, it's probably yeah. one of my favorite uh, specials. Uh, which is an overhead move. It's pretty cool, and it's pretty quick too. The EX uh, does an extra hit, and it also uh, slightly juggles the oh, There you go, yeah. so you can do the EX. 
Uh, don't don't get swag. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is it time for a fatality? It would be. I guess. Let's see if Ray can do it. Yeah, Ray. This one is awesome. Oh. See you later, Kotal. My face. <laughs> And that's pretty much it for Kenshi, right? Yep. So, who, who are we going to show next, Tyler? Well, I'm going to I'm going to take over here for now. We're going to show uh, the lovely and talented Sony Blade. Right. Ooh, yes. people been asking for. Her. We've got a lot about Sonya, so we're going to show some Sonya. I've been practicing a little bit, Pete. You better do a proud.